welcome back to my channel. As you guys have seen by the title of today's video, I am here bringing you all a January favourite because we are finally out of January. This month has felt like it has been the longest month of our entire lives. Like, I'm actually really happy it's over and done with now because it is going to be onwards and upwards because it is such a depressing month and now we all need to be happy and we just enjoy this year as as much as we can so yeah so within January I have found and loved so many things that I am sure to be loving for the rest of the year and hopefully for a very very long time as well so I'm literally just going to show you what I've been loving I'll try and put the links to a few things and you can buy them as well because honestly obsessed with everything but before we get into the video please make sure to leave thumbs up and comment down below also subscribe and without further ado let's get on with the video i have oh i don't know how many items i probably have around nine or ten items all together so first up is it's something a lot of people are probably going to be wanting a link to i won't be able to get a link to this item but i did get this off off the company which actually sent me it i will try and find the name of the company for you guys and you can shop but it is in my in my new Chanel boy bag in green and gold. Honestly, this handbag has been everywhere with me. I took it to Edinburgh, I took it away to Lodore Falls with Scott for his birthday. And it's such a beautiful handbag. It goes with a lot of outfits, it's made of real leather, it's absolutely stunning and I cannot live without it now. And it also is a fraction of the price of the real ones as well. It, it does look exactly the same it's got like the batch codes and everything inside to show it's authenticity and it's just amazing to be honest with you all i've probably been obsessed with this handbag since december but yeah it's such a lovely handbag it's quite spacious inside considering it's quite small but it's definitely something i'm definitely keeping with me for a very long time because it's just beautiful then speaking of design items as well this the dual makeup case I'll try and get a link for this so you guys can shop this but it's honestly the best thing I have ever received from DHK and I've absolutely loved it it would have been away with Scott and stuff and just for starting my makeup like it's just the perfect size so it does have like a few makeup bits in and it probably is a bit dirty with makeup but it's so spacious it's got like you know, a zip at the top to put extra things in it's got like a little pouch inside on both sides actually I didn't even realise that oh my god I've just found that out but yeah, it's very spacious and I can fit all of my makeup, all of my makeup brushes and setting sprays as well. And even skincare bits and like all the bits um, if I was going away. So it is really spacious. I believe it was around £25, I believe. But yes, I will leave a link to this. And again, it has been something I have used almost every day in January. So yeah, it's definitely something I'm taking with me into February and probably all the other months as well <laughs> but literally everything in this video is going to be me raving on about it but next up is the Valentino Born in Roma perfume I got this last was it for my birthday I'm not quite sure the birthday or Christmas anyway and it's just the 30 ml it's a de parfum one and I it was perfumes I can love a certain perfume for like a few weeks and then I'll swap to another one and then I'll wear that for ages. I kind of alternate with my perfumes. I'll have my weeks where I'm absolutely obsessed with one perfume and then all of a sudden I'll just switch to another one and this month it's been the Valentino perfume. I've been wearing this for work, I've been wearing this just to see Scott, I've been wearing it all the time and it's such a lovely smelling perfume. Like it's, I wouldn't even know how to describe it. It, it just smells very girly. Yeah, the bottle's really nice as well and it's pretty affordable for like a designer perfume as well but yeah this perfume is definitely something I have been wearing a lot and it's something I recommend to people if you're thinking of getting a new perfume it's a beauty and speaking of kind of beauty items the first thing I've been absolutely obsessed with is the Poundland all about all about this shadow eyeshadow squad so basically I got this because I was filming a testing part of my makeup video. Please make sure to watch that if you haven't already. But anyway, yeah, so I bought this for the video. It's in the shade 5, the rose gold. And 
I used the brown shade in it and I actually have it on my eye stain ever since I, I tried it out. I've been using this eyeshadow non-stop ever since the video. Now it's absolutely insane. I've tried to use the other shades but nothing compares to that one and it's only a pound so when it runs out I can literally just go to Poundland and get myself a new one and it's just like it just blends so nicely compared to like my Morphe ones it blends so nicely it's super soft and it's a perfect brown colour for your eyes so yeah you need to run to Poundland and get this because it's insane the shimmery colours aren't really that good the pink one's okay but that brown colour is something else also the NARS foundation in the shade Punjab it is the natural radiant long wear foundation this is insane the foundation is my fake tan shade so I do have like a bit of I do have a bit of fake tan on still so I've just been trying to use it as much as I can I got this for my birthday I think or Christmas I think I, I, think I got it for my birthday and it's like I don't know how to describe it it's like a lovely coverage it just you make your skin it looks so smooth and glowy you only need a little bit because it goes a long way it also blends really nicely I definitely want to get this foundation in in my normal skin shade because it's way better than the Too Faced one and it's actually probably on par with the Huda Beauty foundation um, I'm trying to think what it's called I think it's like the matte one but people say how the Huda Beauty one does smell a bit weird but mine doesn't so I don't know maybe I got a good batch of that but yeah this and the Huda Beauty foundation are 10 out of 10 highly recommend for people who love a very high coverage foundation it's a dream to put on your face like yeah it's amazing then also I've absolutely loved the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara now I barely have any eyelashes I mean I don't have false ones on at, at the moment but before I put my eyelashes on I also use this and oh my god it makes my it makes my real eyelashes so long and it's like super black it, it lasts all day this is in the shade very black but yeah it's just absolutely insane and it's also waterproof as well which is really good so highly recommend I think it could be like around eight or nine pounds I believe but yeah you're the best mascara you will ever find I prefer this over benefit ones over like high end ones really it's amazing the skincare product I've been absolutely obsessed with is the Crichton Salicylic Acid Serum so this is basically used for clearing up your spots your blackheads I apply this after using toner before moisturiser and I just put a drop on my head on both cheeks the chin on my nose and when I have a really red spot it'll literally attack it and then the next day it'll be gone and I don't really get as many spots as I used to now I do have one on my chin yeah, but this is actually yeah, bringing the spot down a lot and I, I think it's actually preventing my skin from breaking out as often now so yeah it's definitely something I would recommend for anyone who maybe does have oily skin, spotty skin it's definitely worth a try, home bargains 2 99 you need to get yourself there it's really good and it doesn't really smell of anything either because some people like keen on products that smell really strong but this doesn't really have much of a smell it's just like a lovely nice the watery based kind of product highly recommend it highly bloody recommend that ikea candles now i have absolutely loved ikea candles since the first time i ever went to ikea and bought myself a candle they have been my favorites now i have this beautiful three big vanilla one here i am a sucker for vanilla candles i just I love the scent of vanilla it's not to everybody's taste but i just i love the smell it's just like so like sweet and soft smelling it's not too overpowering compared to other scents and this candle it just smells so strong it burns really nicely it does have three wicks which makes it burn a lot quicker but i think i might got this for like six or seven eight pounds and it's lasted me quite a long time i think i bought this in the summertime and it's, it's such a, a nice looking candle it's got the gold on it i hear candles are the best but literally the next time you go stock up on the vanilla candles because there's nothing better than getting ikea vanilla candles like they are just insane so yeah i recommend that and that has definitely been another fave of mine this month next up is very random but it's just i love them okay like i literally love them so it is the vimto chew bars so if you never had any type of vimto sweet before or even 
you know, tried a vimp tour in your life, then you seriously need to try it now. Like, honestly, these two bars are insane, and it is 16 a pack, and I probably had around, I don't even know how many, you know, 10 in the space of this month so I've done pretty well because I want them to last and I absolutely love them too, I just drink it all the time yeah and these sweets are definitely top tier sweets like if you want to buy some off me they give me a message and I'll send them over to you but yeah honestly insane like yeah, look how many bars I've got I'm, oh it just, it just smell oh it just smell amazing yeah and it's quite hard to find now as well so definitely yeah they head to bookers. I know you have to have like a business, but like it doesn't make a business and just stock up on sweets because honestly it's actually great for sweets. But yeah, these sweets are definitely staying with me for the rest of the year because I'm definitely going to need time to eat them. But yeah, the next up in my favourites is the Zara leggings. These are the brown ones in an extra small. They're very high waisted. Oh yeah, and by the way, I've got a bit of fluff on them. They look like you know, the bean in the washing for the things, but honestly, Zara leggings are the best, so comfortable, and they wash really well. They have all sorts of colours. I've literally just been wearing these for the whole month because I've not really been going out anywhere. Plus, they're so comfortable, you know, they go with anything. I've got a light green pair, a brown pair, and now a dark green pair, and I really want to get some more. I did actually make an order on Zara, by the way, so hopefully, Zara haul is coming very soon, but yeah, love them a lot. and Everybody raves about the Zara leggings or just Zara clothes in general, but these are just another level of comfort and style. <laughs> Literally beautiful. Um, yeah. And then finally for this video, I have been loving my Juicy Couture the nude hoodie. It has been a staple in my life to wear this. I think that this was around £40 from TK Maxx. Honestly, TK Maxx stock a lot of Juicy Couture stuff. And I'm not complaining. Like, it's literally so good for Juicy Couture at the moment. I know it has come back into fashion, but I do prefer the non-blingy hoodie and tracky because I do find the blingy stuff a bit tacky. Yeah, that's my opinion. But yeah, it has, like, the logo. And then it has, like, Juicy Couture written like, on the gold detailing. Yeah, it's just so nice. And this, these actually go really nicely together. So this has been my January outfit to a T, literally. It's been great. So yeah, I'm definitely going to be wearing this. And I've been on a lookout for the matching joggers because imagine you're the matching set. Oh, it will be a dream. But anyway, here is the end of my January favourite. Honestly, this month has been a good month for trying out the new stuff and seeing what I like, what I dislike, uh, you know, it's been the longest month of our lives, well, for me anyway, I don't know about you guys, but I'm happy that it's all over and done with now, but yeah, if you guys have enjoyed this video, please make sure to leave a thumbs up, comment down below, also subscribe, because we are literally, I think we're 35 subscribers away from 4,000, so we are getting very close. Also, thank you very much for the support on all of my recent videos lately. You have been smashing it and my views are going up now, which is great because it shows that the more people are watching the video. So thank you very much for that. But yes, I will see you all in my next video. Bye everyone.